Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, how to take a PowerPoint deck, send it as a feed to your teleprompter, which is sitting on a tripod, and you want to be able to see the images correctly. In other words, you have rotated your slides 180 degrees on the X axis, and you also want to send that same exact PowerPoint into a streaming service like Zoom or Teams, and your audience can see it correctly. Why would you want to do this? Well, if you're advancing the slides, you want to be able to see it correctly, but you also want your audience to be able to see it correctly. I had a couple of my viewers after they watched one of my videos on this product called Flipper. Link in the description. It's absolutely free. I had it produced so you can take a 100 slide deck and just quickly do the 180 rotation access. But of course, it poses a problem if your audience can't see it and you want them to. So the solution is actually super easy. I hope that it's the solution you're going to need. If you have a better solution, I'm sure you'll leave a comment for us so that we can all be learning together. I spent quite a bit of time on this, so I would appreciate it if you hit the like button at this time. And do note that you can follow along with a downloadable document that I have, step-by-step -step instructions on my website, link in the description, and you might actually just find that to be more valuable. So I don't know if this video is going to be better than just going and downloading that document, but here we go. Let's jump to the PC and get started. All right, so hey, you can see me there. I'm Dr. Craig Engstrom, but you can just call me Craig because we're now social acquaintances. So what I have here open is this product called OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. It is a free software that you can download, and it's actually pretty easy to use. And what I have on this side is basically a browser where I'm sending my PowerPoint uh, feed through and it's an online PowerPoint presentation I will show you how to do that and I'm feeding it into here and it's also being fed right now onto my tablet that's sitting on my teleprompter so basically yeah I can see it correctly and my audience can see it correctly there are a couple of things though that you need to do in setting this up and then I have my camera feed here but of course if I wanted my full feed I can also create like my main camera Actually, it's not visible. Let's go ahead and click on that. I would have to enable it, but uh, I can have my main camera. I can also have the entire PowerPoint deck uh, up, and it doesn't look accurate right now because I haven't flipped it around, okay? So I'm gonna walk you step-by-step -step in how to sort of use this tool. Again, download the document I have on my website. It takes you step-by-step. -step. I have a link to how to download OBS in both that document and in the YouTube description. So however you wanna get this product if you don't already have it. Okay, so the principle here is that whatever is on this black canvas is what's going to be essentially being fed into Zoom. So that's sort of the principle that you are working with. When you download and open up OBS, everything's going to look the same as it does here. I have not changed anything. The only obvious difference is you're not going to have anything set up yet. So this is all you're going to do when you are setting this up. You're going to hit add a source and let's go ahead and call this PowerPoint 2. Okay, I actually called it PowerPoint 3 because when I tried to create it, it said you already had PowerPoint 2, multiple takes of the video. So now you don't see me because I have this black screen. Let's go ahead and show me. So what you're going to use is the scenes and then whatever your scene has, has sources, okay? So I'm gonna add a source and what I wanna add first is a camera. So I'm going to do video capture device and I'm going to, I can choose one that I already have set up like camera or I can add another one. I wouldn't want to use my laptop camera as I'm currently using, so I would probably use my good camera coming through a switcher or whatever you have set up for you. But I can go ahead and call this camera two, okay? I might already have that set up. No, I didn't. Okay, perfect. That brings it up. Now it's going to say, what device do you want to use? I have a rear camera. So you can see my setup there. I'm gonna click front camera and it's going to now select me as you can see there. I'm gonna click okay. And I can just move this around however I want by dragging and dropping. I can also hold down the alt key and I can crop in using my mouse left key. Okay, so if I wanna set up something like that. And obviously you would see me correctly if I was using a better camera and my desk wasn't lowered so much and so forth. So your camera will look nice. The next thing you're going to add is another source. And what you're going to add this time is a browser and you can call this whatever you want but let's go ahead and just call this PowerPoint uh, slides okay and again call it whatever you want and I'm gonna add that now I can add essentially any type of website I you can add your personal website it does not matter but what we're going to do ultimately is add the PowerPoint slides in the browser okay so that's now all set up let's go ahead and jump to your PowerPoint Okay, so this is a basic PowerPoint. I assume that you're going to get that set up and here's the step-by-step -step instructions. You can actually find those uh, on the downloadable document. 
I have this slide for illustration purposes correct and this one inverted 180 degrees on the x-axis uh, for feed into the teleprompter and this is just for illustration purposes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over once my deck is ready to go, I'm going to go to slideshow and I'm going to click present online. It's going to give you this prompt and I'm going to click connect. Do note that you can enable remote downloading of the slides if you would like your audience to be able to do that. Now that it's set up here, I'm going to have this link. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to head back over to OBS and I'm going to actually double click on this. So anytime once you've set that up, you can double click and change it, which you will need to do each time you are doing a presentation and feeding your slides. It's now going to import in that PowerPoint. As you can see, it's saying, hey, waiting for the pre presentation to begin. At this time, I'm going to take that same URL and I'm going to send it to my device and open it in a browser and use that URL and so that my device is essentially viewing the online presentation. So I'm watching my teleprompter slides through a browser that's also the online presentation, if that makes sense. Okay, so now what I need to do is launch the presentation. Okay, I have launched that presentation, as you can see. And now you can see it here, but it is inverted. This is what my audience would be seeing, so I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Alt key, and I'm going to crop it as such. And then I'm going to grab it, and all I'm going to do is flip it like this. Boom, I'm done. And now this is what my audience is going to see. So perfect. I'm going to make sure everything is muted. I'm just going to use Zoom's uh, feature. I'm going to hit start virtual camera. I'm going to jump over to Zoom and you'll see what it looks like there. Okay, so let's assume that I've joined a Zoom call and now I'm going to start my video. It's going to give me options, right? I could choose my Surface front camera, but what I'm going to choose is OBS if it's not already selected and make sure that that's ready to go. And then I'm going to click start video. And you're going to see this image if you have not started your virtual camera. So at any time, you can start your virtual camera. I recommend before you join the call, of course. So I've started the virtual camera. Go back over to Zoom, and this is now what my audience is going to be seeing, okay? Now I can imagine you're thinking, well, what if I don't want my slides to be visible right away and I just want them to see me, and then I start the presentation? Well, that's also super easy. Jump back over to OBS. And what I can do is type something like main camera, create another scene, add a source. What I'm going to add is a video capture device. That's a camera. And I'm just going to select camera here because I know that's, well, I'll select the one we just created. I'm going to open that up. I can actually make this the entire screen. Okay, now that I have that selected in camera one, let's jump back over to Zoom, and here we go. You can see me, and it's not going to look as distorted and stuff. It's because I have multiple recording devices going on right now. Okay, so then when you want to start your video, you're just going to go back to your scene, for example, with these. Make sure they're enabled, though, so it makes it quick to be able to switch back and forth. So if in, in Zoom, I want them to see my full video, that's all I'm going to do. And then if I want them to see this, that's what I'm going to do. So again, you could move this around and you could even just if you wanted to have a scene that's just the entirety of your inverted slide deck. And again, on my PowerPoint or on my teleprompter, I can actually see correctly this slide and then they're seeing correctly that slide. Okay, so hey, as you can see, it is really super easy. I hope that you found this video helpful. I do think the downloadable guide will be useful for you. So again, link in the description. Be sure to like this video, share it with others if you think that they might get some value out of it. Let me know if you find an easier solution in the comments. Until I see you in the next video, I hope that you have a wonderful day.